Hi, Dark Productions again. Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your own live stream, how to maintain it, and how to get it so you can broadcast your first game or your desktop or just showcase to people how to fix some types of uh, problems. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Procaster and create an account. So since I already have one, I'm not going to make another one. It's just straightforward, just like registering on YouTube. Let me go ahead and log in real fast. Alright, so after you log in, you're going to get this. It's normal. Skip to go to account. Now I have more than one because I also manage my friends' like channels. Once you create your account, log in, you want to launch a new channel. Now this is completely free service. There's no, there's no bull. There's no side plans where they let you broadcast for like five times and they're like hey it's time to pay now no it's completely completely free all you have to do is just make sure you use it and after you verify it after you like get a couple of hours on there and you have some really high quality like you know like live game footage uh maybe a band vi music video blah 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 after you get it like or developed and everything then you apply to uh... basically get it let me see we'll just type in a let's see what i can do uh... dark productions test dpt see if it'll let me do that what's wrong oh Alright, so I'm going to create that. And now I have my own. Let's see, where are you? Here it is. Okay, I'm blind. Alright, so here is your editing panel. Here's where you want to go first off to configure it. Here you upload your avatar. Let me go ahead and show you an example. Here is mine. Now, I haven't actually uh, uh, broadcasted in a while, which is why mine's unverified. Um, all the ads are um, basically every 15 minutes, and it's random. Uh, sometimes it'll be every hour. It just depends. I have some people that don't never get ads. All of this is free. You can streamline and you can run ads at the bottom. You, right now you can see I'm bro actually broadcasting on this. This is the same tool that I use for recording my desktop. Except it's not say it to save on the server. I can just go back and delete it. And you can see I have previous shows down here of me playing Far Cry 2 and other games. And I've had like at least 60 viewers on here at once watching me edit, play games, and just record stuff off my desktop, watch movies. So from there, then you can divulge into the studio after you configure it the way you want in this tab. Now that basically is all the settings such as the background, the banner, I mean all you, you can just get Photoshop or InfoView or GIMP and make all that integrated into your Facebook. I mean. If you need help with this, comment and I will write more tutorials for that. After this is the more complicated area where basically you divulge into like what you're actually going to be seeing on the page. Do you want some banners appearing? Let me just fill in with some null information. I'm just going to bullshit it because I'm, uh, I'm not actually going to keep this one. I'm going to delete it right after this. So now, this is basically that text you saw earlier. You can configure it, you can set it up, you can set up a, a banner, you can set up a little news stream, and you can change it in live, in real time. Now I think the better way is just to simply show you guys my managed panel. So let me load into that real fast. I'm going to get into the studio on Doug Productions. Alright, so here is my studio for Doug Productions. And it's all, I've already figured out how I do it and everything and whatnot, so it's all set up already. 
So I basically have it set up so it rotates like a television, like a TV. It's replaying everything I've done in the past. Then when I go live, it cancels all that out. This is a default setting. All you have to do is just make an autopilot playlist by uploading your videos or importing them from YouTube, and then copying them over to the autopilot and then restarting it. And it will do what you need to do and continue it. And you can integrate this and put it into your browser, into your websites. It's able to get started, and it'll give you the code. You can customize the color and whatnot, and everything. Uh, let's see. This is basically where you import your videos to a storyboard. You can see an example of the storyboard I have moving right now. It has a bunch of my videos on there. Live shows uh, right here. Let's see what my live shows are. Uh, recordings. Here we are. Oddly, I think I deleted all my recordings. Oh wait, no, well, they're here. They're just uh, quite numerous, and they're in subfolders. It automatically uh, categorizes them. I guess it, I deleted them. Well, that is basically. Oh, here's one. That's basically how you set up your own channel, and then how you broadcast is you go back to the live stream page. Let's see. And you go where it says broadcast now. Now you can broadcast off your your webcam and do it that way, which is a kind of uh, easier way to do it. Or you can do it in a more complicated way. Well, let me see. Let me go back to the page I was on earlier. Well, you download the client for the Mac or the Windows, depending on what you have. And you simply just log in with the same login you did here. You choose your channel if you have more than one channel for different stuff. You choose if it's a game, or if it's on your desktop. Let me just pull this up, see if it'll let me show you. Uh, no, it will not let me show you. But basically, you do it in that manner. And then you can record it, you can set the quality. It just depends on your internet speed. And that's basically how you make a gaming channel or a live station. And you maintain it. You can use it for music, so you can play your own radio station. Other people do it on Procaster. And you can see all the channels here for pretty much gaming, music, radio stations, the latest news channels, everything. So there's a lot of stuff you can do in Procaster. Thank you for watching my tutorial and comment if you have any questions. I'll probably end up making more complicated ones on how do you actually break down and add ads to your channel and how to integrate it into your websites and all that good stuff.